Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel, Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you an unboxing video for Wii Remote Plus Mario Edition. This one came out on November the 1st, just a few days ago. The Luigi version also came out, which you can see right here. I will be posting an unboxing video of the Luigi controller tomorrow. Today we are focusing on Mario. This controller does say that it's for the Wii U, but I can almost guarantee it will work on your Wii as well, just because it is a Wii remote controller with Wii Motion Plus built inside. So here you are taking a look at the front of the box. The one side of the box does say Wii Remote Plus Mario, very simple, I like it. The other side has a Mario who's jumping up, which is quite neat, I do like that as well. The top of the box just has the U for Wii U. The back has some sort of special warning and of course that really helpful support Nintendo.com in case you need help as well as a phone number. The bottom has a little important warning to warn you to look at the Wii Operations Manual before you actually play this or the Wii U Operations Manual in this case. And of course, this controller is just a special edition, but it does everything else that your Wii Motion Plus controllers do otherwise. This was rated at $39.99 Canadian or US dollars. That's how much I did pay for this one. Opening these boxes can usually be an issue. They are glued shut. I didn't want to open it from the top in case I rip or damage the box, so I was opening it from the bottom. All I did was I used a kitchen knife, and I've just been edging my way along here slowly, and I only have a little bit left to go, so this should be pretty easy. And there we go. So I went really slowly. I uh, partially damaged the box a little bit, but it still looks like it's in great shape. Another warning I should give you when you're picking them up, a lot of the time in the boxes from the store, they're bent down like this. Make sure you just take a look that you don't get one too creased if you really worry about condition of your box. So let's pull out the controller. There's the controller itself. What else comes in the box? The instructions, just a small Wii Remote Plus controller instructions, little insert. Move that to the side. And there are batteries. It looks like I opened this from the wrong end. There are batteries all the way down there at the bottom. So you might want to open it from the top. Just might hint to you. Just be very careful that you don't damage the box. Let's move this one sideways so you can actually see it saying Wii Remote Plus. And let's take this controller out of the packaging, what we've been waiting for. I do like the red, blue, and yellow color scheme. It looks kind of neat. It looks excellent in my opinion, and it does come with that rubber case around the controller, so maybe what I'll do for us right now is I will actually just remove that so that we can take a look at the controller the best that we can. And there we go. So this just looks standard red. Move that to the side. Here's the controller itself. It looks very glossy, which means fingerprints do get all over it. My fingerprints are already on it because I've just touched it a few times. The power button's red. The D-pad's standard black, it looks like. The A button is red. Same with the home button, but now there's blue in the middle of that. And the minus and plus buttons are actually yellow. Sort of look like Mario's buttons, I assume. The bottom of the controller, the one and two buttons, though, are very deep red. Almost a brown. I would call them burnt red. The B button looks like that is the same color of burnt red. And of course, the front is red. The back is blue. This looks like a jean blue. And the front, the most special part about this controller is definitely the M insignia over the speaker that you see here. I will open this up just to see if we have anything different in there, but no, it's all blue and it looks really cool. This is definitely a different shade of blue than the blue controller, but the red does look like it's the same red as the other controller Wii Remote Plus that already came out. The handle or the wristband on this controller is blue with the special little plastic help is actually red on this one. Now this controller was most definitely modeled after a GameCube controller, if you didn't know that. So a little bit of history for you. Here is the Japanese box for the GameCube controller, and there was one in Europe as well. So here I'll pull out the box. I already pulled it out of the baggie. Just to show you what this controller is 100% modeled after, which Nintendo obviously had the idea for. But who's to blame them? They're just ripping on their own idea, and I love it. Here is the M on the GameCube controller, obviously, the same thing on there. The red looks pretty similar, and the blue looks like it's the same shade of blue. From what I heard, the blue on the Luigi controller, which I will unbox tomorrow, is a different shade of blue than the Mario one. On the Luigi on the GameCube, it was a different shade. Thank you very much for watching my Mario Wii Remote Plus unboxing video. Stay tuned tomorrow for my Luigi unboxing video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, fill that like bucket, and remember, as always, game on.